There you go. I didn't bring you with me too much today. Sorry about that. We literally pulled up here. So it's just a little camp off the side of the road. We're just out of a place called Point Piri, I think it is. Then we just ducked in quickly because we're about to go somewhat remote from now. This will be the last Woolies as such before we uh, get to Alice Springs, I think. So we just stocked up and ready to head remote, I believe, tomorrow. We've got the mountains behind us. I think we're going to start heading in that way. I believe this is like the Flinders Ranges area. So we're going to head in, start checking out there and watch the views. I'm bloody excited. I hope you are too. All right, I guess I'll probably, oh, here you go. As we're in town, Maddie got a message from Domino's, right? And it was like, I'm gonna say 18 bucks for three pizzas. So she really wanted it. So we got Domino's because it was literally gonna be cheaper than the burgers we we're gonna cook. So we're getting Domino's. I'm pretty excited about that. I hope it's within the budget this week. Might have already run out of money. <laughs> oh shit. On that, if you want to know more about our budget, let us know in the comments below. All right, so I'll give you a quick rundown. What we do is we essentially have savings and um, with our business and stuff, we pay ourselves a small wage. And then what we actually do, we pay ourselves a small wage into the savings. And then what we actually do is from those savings, we pay ourselves a lump sum. We have a bills account and then a spendings account and we just pay ourselves into that and that's what we have for the week. So we have to make it work, whether we're camping and paying for powered sites or we're at a free site like this or a donation, it all comes out of there. If you want to know more on that and, or why we do it, sing out. All right, my dinner's just arrived. That sunset's stunning. Maybe he's gonna to want to come out here and have a look. Here he is, pizza. Hey, can you believe it? Pizza on the road. We're like living like luxury tonight. Here's Maddie. Now, if you don't know why Maddie's smiling from ear to ear, it's because I got pizza. And pizza's her favourite food. So she always wants it. So we're having it. Little little treat. Alright. See you tomorrow. Hey, it's day two, right? It's in the afternoon. We've done absolutely nothing all day. It's been pouring with rain. Just pissing down. We've decided to stay here, so we're still at that free camp. So we're staying there, and then tomorrow we'll move on. I just ran sort of windy road territory, and it was raining, and I just couldn't be bothered with the caravan. I thought, tomorrow's meant to be fine. We'll just leave then. But we're here at... Talawi Gorge. So, let's go have a look. Thought, since the sun's out, the old boy read a sign saying that there's a gorge up the road. Better go suss it out. So, come along. Let's go. So, as you can see, there's only the two of us and we're in the old boy's car. So, he's waiting back with Luna. We're heading in. We're going to have a look at it and then swap. Because... No doggies. Heaps of 1080 bait apparently. This was shut the other day. So we're going to just go for a run and then we'll swap over and then he'll come and have a look. You're not going to be able to see this, but there's some mountain goats. <laughs> They're probably not mountain goats, but there's two goats up there, little black ones. How yeah, cool! You can hear them. Oh, there's more. There's a whole heap of them. Don't you fall. Don't you slip. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. I found the water. That's oh, what it is. I did not know what you were talking about. <laughs> I thought you actually... <laughs> I thought you actually had a puddle. Ow. Ow. Sorry. Ow. 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 Ow
so we believe this little track was not for us, <laughs> it's for the goats. So stay on the bigger side, it's a lot more people friendly. Oh Jesus. <laughs> G'day mate, how you going? We're off, we left that place, we stayed two days because of the rain. It's not too bad today, it rained this morning, hey, it's pretty muddy but yeah, but it's cleaned up a fair bit, so it's still overcast, but... And the road's really dry. Yeah. So we're laughing. We're heading to Hancock's Lookout. But we did a bit of a, like a recce trip yesterday and went up through the hills. Super windy. The corners were, say, I think it said by caution at 30. And up the hill. I'm just not going to risk it. It's been raining. I'm just not interested. We seen it yesterday, thankfully. So what we're actually going to do is backtrack on that whole wide road and go through those small towns again, which I absolutely love. I really, I think we've found what we need to try and focus on more, and it's in those towns that no one talks about. Yes. Because they're absolutely incredible. And we still do the big towns, don't get me wrong. And we just need to make sure that we hit these small towns because they are absolutely gorgeous. And yesterday, we just had a great time with them, hey? It's just no. awesome, awesome. There's so, so many beautiful little spots. Getting into the Flinders Ranges. Yeah, they're just stunning, hey. And the other thing is, with all the cloud cover and stuff, the ranges have like just that fog and cloud cover over them, and they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Tonight, whether it's like got cloud cover coming in and we get to see that with the hills or we get a beautiful sunset, who knows, but I'm bloody stoked with this spot, eh? It's gorgeous. So. This is the spot that I'm not sure which video it'll be in, but um, we went and watched the sunset up there. Yeah. And it's just gorgeous. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
made it. We got here. We were slipping a bit. I think Maddie just showed you the mud. I'll show you again, but have a go at this view. Seriously, I love it. You would have seen it on the previous video before, and you can see all the way out. It's incredible. It's so different today with like the clouds and everything. It makes for a whole different day, but it's still specky. But we've done a mischief. Look at what Maddie made me do. Look at it all. Are you serious? Look. It's thick. <laughs> <That's lame. laughs> Look at the leg. <laughs> oh, shit. wicked i'll be honest that sort of shit doesn't bother me <laughs> it's a bit of mud it's gonna wash off <laughs> you're putting the leg down though <laughs> mate is it gonna be muddy behind the max tracks on the table or has the table done its job with the uh so you got this side lip but there is a gap through there so let's find out I honestly haven't even had a look yet. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I thought that would be dirty as. <laughs> I did think that was going to have dirt. you got to have a go at this. <laughs> Maddie doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> Trying to get some of this mud off. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you like it? It's just a bit thick, you know? Just like that, the view has changed. Oh, stop it. Look at that. I can't see hardly anything. That is so bloody wicked. See, even just behind me, you can just see it all. Far out. What a spot. Good sunset. <laughs> This place has been unreal. We can't really see the view, but it's been off and on all day since we got here. I think we got here at what? Lunchtime? I'm going to yeah, say 12 o'clock ish. Around 12. And it's just been like the clouds or fog, whatever you want to call it, comes through and we can't see. Then all of a sudden we can. It's just bloody awesome, hey? I've loved it. So different compared to when we were here last time. Like it was a stunning sunset. Absolutely incredible. But this just, it's still just as amazing. So many people have driven up here and nobody's staying. So that's pretty cool. I assume we're going to have the place to ourselves. It's now like six o'clock. Stoked. Just amazing. What a view. If you're willing to drive up here, do it. There's a picnic table, there's bins. You're allowed fire pits through certain seasons. So I think it's from October to April is no go. And then after that fires, actually you're only allowed to camp after April, aren't you? April 15th, it said on the sign. So, but on a hundred percent recommend it. We absolutely love it. I don't think we're going to get a sunset with this cloud cover, but this is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're leaving. Unfortunately, what a view. Only allowed 24 hours. I'm gutted. I'd stay another night. I've absolutely loved it. 
just stunning. Don't know where we're going. We're just gonna drive. If there's some small towns that are wicked, maybe we'll pull up for the night, who knows, but I'm excited for the adventure. Flinders Ranges, continue. All right, I need to hit the road. We've been a bit, we struggle to leave. Does anyone else that's on the road just struggle to pack up? Because I'm shocking. We, we like to try and leave by 10, between nine and 10. We normally don't leave till 11. <laughs> Oops, all right, enough procrastinating. Off we go. There you go. You see this? You see this? Sunshine, baby. We did it. We've got sun. You wouldn't read about it. Uh, I'm excited. There's the clouds behind us. That's what we've left behind for this. There's a slight cloud over there. The rest, pretty well blue. We've just pulled up at a historic site called Wilson by the looks of it. So we're going for a walk around. Station Master's Residence. As you can see in here, beautiful bedroom. I don't know if I just mentioned this or not, but it's sunny. It's just something about that old vitamin D. Do you know what this sun requires? What? The dance break. Have we got this? We made it. We're here. I don't know where here is. I don't. I wouldn't have a clue. We pulled up. It was a free camp. The next one's 90 k's further. So we decided call it quits here. Have a look around. It's, we just, I don't want to make, I don't want to rush it. So there's nothing really here to look at other than the gorgeous view. Don't get me wrong, like it's priceless. Um, but I don't want to feel like we rushed it like we did with the Nullarbor. So we're stopping and just going to take it in. 360 degree views. Have a look. As you can tell by the reflection on my face, how good is this sunset? Just had the drain up. Had a look around. Had a look at all the hills. The colours are... So I was trying to be a bit creative. So I'm going to do the filming of the sunset. Plus. It's facing the wrong bloody way. Sunsets. That way. It's just been sitting there spinning. I think I snapped up. So, before the sun goes down, I better show you this. Alright. Whilst we've got a little bit of light. I'm pretty I'm pretty proud, alright. I don't cook. I don't cook. I'm excited. I'm excited. A view like this, which I've shown you a hundred times, <laughs> because I think you just need to see it. Look at those pinks coming through. It's 
one of those sunsets again where you go, it can't get any better than this. And then it just keeps getting keeps better. Getting better. Yeah. Alrighty, we're going to say goodnight for today. But get ready for tomorrow. We don't know where we're heading. I could not tell you. Big butt. Alright, big butt. I'm, if it looks anything like this, it's spectacular. So I'm bloody excited. And we'll figure it out together. Well, another glorious morning. Sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. So, we're off. I, We know where we're going tonight, but I don't know how to say the name. Pin... Pinta Chiln... Chilna? I don't know. i got no clue. But that's a gorge. One of our friends reached out. They used to actually work and live around here for a while. So... They've told us to head to a spot, it's a free camp, dogs are allowed, so we're heading there. But I don't know how to say it, so I'll give it a crack or hopefully there's a sign that I can bloody show you. <laughs> but, leaving this behind, to hopefully head for another gorgeous view. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is How cool is this? Parachilna Gorge It is Gorgeous Hey, you like that one? <laughs> oh shit, I impress myself sometimes Don't know how long we're staying for Maybe two nights, we'll see how we How we go oh, How cool is this little bit? <laughs> we're seeing this for the first time together Sorry, that was a fly. I just didn't want to eat him, that's all. Oh, look. A little creek bed coming through. This is, like, not deep. But it's deep enough to sit in, potentially. If it gets hot, I might be down here. Almost kind of guts it just then. That would have been funny. A fair few campers, actually. It's like one, two, three, four that we can see. There's a person that I've seen driving up there, five. So she's a popular little spot. Free. No facilities. All right, well, my wife's about to make me some bickies and dip. <laughs> so we're going to sit down with a beer, some bickies and dip, have a yarn, enjoy the scenery, and get rid of these flies. Maybe put some, <laughs> put some stuff on. What's that other one that we use that we like? I'm going to try that right now because that off one worked really well yesterday. Hey, like it doesn't get rid of them, but it, it lessened them by a lot. And I know this one's pretty good. So I'd like to do a comparison. Actually, this isn't even ours. We stole it off Maddie's mum. <laughs> Nature's botanical. Oh. <laughs> and then you just... Rub it in. Rub. All right, we'll see if that works. You want some on your legs? Because I've got more where that came from, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Squirt on yourself, would you? There you go. Day number two. Here at Sutton Gorge. Absolutely beautiful. We loved it. There's no one here. It's just us. All to ourselves. So... We haven't done much. Well, we have. We pulled everything out of the car, out of the front boot, and just repacked it. Had a look at stuff that we do and don't need. Um, and just, yeah, went through it all, which was great. Maddie did heaps of work. Um, so we stopped and done that. We did go for a drive. But that's about it. Yeah, it was good. Mm. Having a fire. Look, right. Having a fire. I thought I'd be nice, give Maddie a fire for tonight, whilst we sit out here cooking a roast, roast chicken, and started splattering, didn't it? 
Look. The brand new <laughs> mat. Well, it'll let sand through now, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so we had it out. It was a bit close, right? And I... It was only a little fire, but it spat. Now we've got holes here, <laughs> here, 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 here. Whoops. Bloody hell. Honestly. Like, I'll learn from the mistake, but I don't care. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me, all right? Again, if that's the worst thing that happens to us today, we'd be laughing. None of the sparks hit us or anything like that, so it doesn't matter, does it? More worried about these uh, shards of stone that came flying at us. <laughs> yeah, that could be my fault for putting it right against the edge of the fire. That's my bad. So we probably won't do that again. But anyway, we live and we learn. So that's it. Tomorrow we're heading off. So come with us. I won't film anything else tonight. First time cooking a chook on the barbie, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not too confident, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Come with us tomorrow. Man, I've got to bring my arm back, eh? <laughs> Come with us tomorrow. Come on down. You're the next watcher on Chasing Dreams. So, pray for me. <laughs> Have a go at this. The first time ever towing a caravan. We're on an off-road road. Um, so she's just going to take it easy. But have a go at this out here on the left of us. Oh, we for bloody emus. How cool is that? The whole road's yours. Like, watch behind you. Make sure there's nothing coming. But remember that you can choose the best road. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. I'm going to be in this one over here. No, that's all corrugation. Which one do you think? Here at the moment, left a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Go into neutral, and now push that forward. Whoop. So now take that. Yep, put the clutch in, put it in first. first. Now drive forward. Oh, fixed. Disengage. Maybe reverse a little bit. Oh, fucking easy on the brakes. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so now go to first. What's the number on on the dial? What do you mean? Over there for your brakes. Six. Oh, you change it to four. Jesus. So give it a fair bit of berries like we discussed. Not like crazy, but just give her a few berries. More, more, more. Yep. Good job. So go left. Don't go too tight. Yep. Which way do I go? Just go the furthest way. Slowly. Just cruise on in. Roll in. Oh. How'd you go? Oh, I don't know. How did I go? We didn't crash. You got in. You backed <laughs> the caravan for the first time. Driven the caravan for the first time. Actually, you backed anything for the first time. <laughs> it's a pretty good effort. So you're going to drive up to the next place? Later? No, 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 you're right, you're going to. G'day. Thought I'd talk to you inside the car rather than outside where it's blowing a gale. So we just pulled up for the night. We're about 6Ks out of a place called Copley, 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 something like that. We were going to stay in town. The, there is a um, it's a hotel that offers free camping, actually, which is pretty cool right beside it. But it's limited spots, obviously. So that one filled up quite quickly, which is wicked, but nowhere for us. So we're shooting out here. Tomorrow, I need to head back in. I need a cranking battery. Ours is just struggling a bit um, of a morning. And when you're in the middle of nowhere... You don't want to be stranded with a flat battery. So, hence, we'll just get it done now. And it's not too bad. I think he's said like 250 bucks. So, it is what it is. We'll get it done. But we just have to wait for them to rock up tomorrow. And then we'll continue the journey on. But, I'm excited. 
We're in the middle of nowhere. There's this little dam just down from us. Maddie read that we could bloody stay there. Turns out we cannot. This is a sign that says no camping. So I'm a bit gutted about that. I was excited to be by the water. Even though I couldn't touch it or whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just cool to be by the water sometimes. But this will do. Alright, quickly show you where we are. I don't know if you can see it, still views of the Bloody Flinders Ranges, absolutely gorgeous. Looks like there might be a mine or something down there. But I'll call this home for free. Thank you. So we were just chilling in the van, minding our own business, and out of nowhere, a massive windstorm has come through. <laughs> it's crazy, we're just sitting ducks. But yeah, it's crazy, like I can feel the wind underneath my feet, it's rocking the van. <laughs> Hopefully we're still upright in the morning. <laughs> Come on mate, it's not a bloody cyclone. What do you think of the storm? She don't give a shit. She's like a toasty in here. How cool is that? Out of nowhere. So, very bloody lucky that we decided to wait the night and come in and grab this battery that the guys had delivered today. Car struggled to start, so <laughs> very, very lucky. We're in this tiny little town. We stayed out of town because the pub was full, like I said yesterday. So, we've just shot in. They're bloody, they're getting us out of the shit. We're getting a battery to at least head off on the dirt tracks and make sure we start. Obviously, having a jump starter and we've got the old boy to um, jump us if we need, but just gives us that peace of mind heading off. So, grab this battery, pay for it, go and hook up, and then we're hitting the road heading north still. So, where are we heading, Dar? Marie. 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 Hopefully that's how you say it. It's not Marie, Marie. So, we survived the wind. We did. Maddie did get a little bit stressed out with the wind. Unfortunately, we were 100% like sideways onto it. She was reading the weather. I don't know. Apparently, it said we got up to, what, 80k winds? Yeah. 80k winds with something gusts. It was pretty bad, don't get me wrong. The caravan was shaking, but not once did we, were we unsafe. Bloody hell, what's happening? As I said, we've hit the road, right? We're heading up Marie, wherever it's called. To be honest, I don't even know. Sorry about the wind. Look, all I use is a bloody GoPro and I've got no wind sock, no nothing. And everywhere we've been doesn't have anything to help. So I do apologize. Um, but I have to show you this, right? This is where we've been. Northern Flinders Ranges and Gammon Ranges. But it's been absolutely fantastic. This place has been absolutely gorgeous all right this is where we're heading i don't even know if i've said it again sorry about the bloody wind i don't even know if i said it right then have a go at this the Una data track we're heading to the Una data track i'm bloody excited i know nothing about it haven't even done any research i think we're pulling up just before we touch it tonight i don't honestly know i know enough that it's off grid and there's nothing there right there's two places that we can fill up like, I, I know enough about it, and it's remote. But f***ing it there. I'm as excited as excited. Look at that for placement. Oh my god, would you have a go at that? So that's it, we're doing the Uno Data Track. I don't even know if I mentioned it so far in this video, or if I kept just saying where we were heading to, but we got to do it. I'm excited. So come bloody with us! Because we're off! It just threw me arm out of joint. Oh, it just threw me arm out of joint, Dal. No. Could you imagine? I'm gonna be crying. All right, the wind's shit. I'm out of here. See ya. I'm, I'm still here. I'm so excited. We're doing the Una Data Track, baby. Hi, folks. Hi, folks. It's up to the Godric, though. Oh, my Max tracks. They're not pretty orange anymore. What happened? 
Maddie, we need to get new toilet paper. I poked a hole through it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that banger was Maddie trying to get the step out. I think it's still stuck from all the mud. <laughs> Done. That was aggressive. <laughs> you scared me. It's the son. <laughs> Come on. So this, seriously, like, to put it into terms of how good it is, right? It's like going to Bali, trusting a fart, and it works out. <laughs> it was just a fart. That's how good this is. <sighs> and enjoy my beverage. You know, I said Maddie's going to get us some cheeses and bickies. She's doing it. But, like, the cost of doing it will be a pinky <laughs> and. <laughs> Better go and feed Maddie because she's a bit cranky. So we got the battery, you would have seen, I just took you with me. So now we start like a Viagra. We're off. <laughs> oh, this is the one. You'd squirt some in your hand. Oh! <laughs> 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 